How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another day in another review on the channel. And today is a special day, and I'm not quoting my HD gamer when I do say that, but it's in fact Christmas Day. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, but lads, Merry Christmas and support over the year. Incredible, and I just want to say Christmas time because that's uh, a time for giving. I'm giving you this review, it's uh, Gabriel Jesus, quite fitting for the day, but um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you because honestly, the support this year, the support throughout Footmas and etc. etc. has just been tremendous. So, once again, thank you so much and Merry Christmas. And lads, Christmas is a time about family. You might be getting presents of Santa uh, delivered to your door, but um, yeah, it's about family, man. I've lost a lot of my family over the years. And um, it just makes you realize how much Christmas is about getting together with your family. If you don't have um, much family out there, get together with a friend. It's all about closeness this Christmas. And uh, just enjoy it, lads. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the festivities. And um, yeah, Gabriel Jesus, quite fitting for the day. Lads, let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. Screw the Queen's Christmas message. That was Marshall's Christmas message right there. So Gabriel Jesus, of course, you see him at center mid right now. But in game, he moves to a striker and a 4 2 3 one and he does play as a lone striker. He's got four star skills, three star weak foot this year, which isn't the greatest in the world. And it will be a con with the card. He's got height to high work rates, and he is five foot nine tall. Now his price right now is 150 to 200 k on the Xbox and the PlayStation. And normally they don't get that big of a boost from the UCL cards, but this one is a plus one on that card and a plus three in shooting. Nearly every single shooting start has went up by three, and it's definitely noticeable in game, as you're about to see by the card stats. 88 pace, 88 dribbling, sensational, and 84 shooting. 75 physical and 75 passing as you can see by Zen Games that's a good hawk on him 89 acceleration 86 sprint speed, phenomenal pace on this game. Does Gabriel Jesus, especially that acceleration for that instant burst of pace, is very, very noticeable. He's got 92 attack and position, but with high to high work rates, he does get dragged about all over, like about the shop. So his positioning isn't good, but his movement once in position is extremely good. He's got 88 finishing, 81 shot power, 76 long shots. What's all that about? Uh, he's got 75 volleys, 81 penalties, 80 vision. In, in general, the passing category, it sucks. I mean, 79 shot pass, yes and no. 79 curve. Yes, I know the rest of them are just trash from the crossing to the long pass, etc, etc. Dribbling is where the kind of home is with this card. It's got 94 agility, 93 balance, 88 reactions, 86 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 83 composure. He also rocks up with 86 stamina. How about that for a goal, man? Honestly, this Christmas day, you're going to be blessed with some amazing goals in this review. It's so, some of the best goals I've scored all year round. Look at that one on the volley over the top of the keeper into the back of the net, easy as you like. And he scores even more great goals. Look at this one, he flicks it over his shoulder and then hits it like on a half volley. Like a, it was a grass cutter, it was a daisy cutter, it just flew across the ground, hit the ground and bounced back up into the back of the net. That is what Gabriel Jesus is capable of. And with Jesus... It says he's got 75 volleys. Uh, yes, it's plus 10 with a whole chem style, so it goes to 85. His volleys are tremendous. And outside the area, if you time them right with the same shots, it doesn't matter about the 76 long shots, he will still score them, uh, as evidenced in the gameplay, as you've just seen from outside the area. So, uh, as a finisher on this game, this guy is tremendous. In the air, not so much. He's got 77 hand accuracy, so he won't score all the headers kind of possible. Plus, he's jumping to 79, and uh, he is uh, 5 foot 9. So, he's not going to win every single header possible. Once he does, he probably will score here and there. But, um, yeah, in terms of that and the long shots, the long shots that I don't understand whatsoever, it's, um, it's great. It really is. Long shots are fine with this card, but the free star weak foot hinders this card when it comes to finishing on the left foot. Because normally, if you get a chance on the left foot with Gabriel Jesus, it's not normally going to go in. That one there, he moved to his right foot instead of just like cutting across it with his left and scoring the goal. He gets put through here. 1v1 with the keeper. What's he going to do? Easy finesse. Pass the keeper into the back. I think that was a time finesse as well in the 84th minute of that game. Of course, he's got his trademark celebration on this game. That isn't it because it would break his back if he did that in real life. <laughs> it's um, it's like the phone, like um, the hotline bling kind of one, but it's like he holds it to his ear. You'll see it in the future clips, lads. But um, I do like his celebration on this game. That could be another pro in itself. But uh, the finish will be a brilliant scene amongst the best stats of 88 finishing because it's just an extreme finisher on this game. Look at that flick up, flick up, and the volley got very lucky with two deflections going into the back of the net. There's the celebration. The dribbling is also one of the best stats with the card, 88, and the key stat today will be the 94 agility. You can also add to that the balance of 93 because it is fantastic. I see Gabriel Jesus doing great things in midfield, and again, he gets very lucky here, gets a chance, and he hammers it in the back of the net there with a stronger right foot. So the shot power is tremendous. 
It really is. With a whole chem style goes to 91, you can feel the power in game, and um, he definitely scores with that power every single bloody time. 81, fantastic itself. Plus 10, even bloody better. Um, yeah, in terms of four star skills, he's a very flareful striker on this game. You're gonna see skills brought out the bag by myself with Gabriel Jesus. Look at that man, La Croqueta! And he puts it in the back of the net, easy as you like, yet again, for Gabriel Jesus. Um, it's, it's fantastic. This card is a very flareful striker. He's a very, I don't know, a Brazilian striker, because with Brazilians, you associate them with skill. And with Gabriel Jesus, you do the exact same. You, you associate him with skill. Of course, he's got four star skills. He's got a three star weak foot, unfortunately. But those four star skills do come in handy with the acceleration of 89, the agility of 94, the bounce of 93, the ball control of 86, and the dribble of 88 makes him a very flareful strike. You've just seen a flareful finish there in the background. That was actually a cross. It wasn't like a power shot, it wasn't a chip or anything like that. It was a cross. I seen him come off his line, I thought, you know what? Let's cross the ball in the back of the net because if you get it right, it'll just go in every single time. It looks sliced, but that's what you're gonna do if you cross it in the back of the net. And the keeper had no chance in hell. Easy little finish there from Gabriel Jesus. In terms of dribbling, it's great, it's fantastic. It's always in control with the 86 ball control and it's always fast and he's got the four star skills to throw in there. So as a dribbling striker, you look at likes of Griezmann, Aguero, maybe Dybala, maybe a Cristiano Ronaldo here and there. But uh, Gabriel Jesus has to be added to that equation now. He's a very skillful striker on this game, a very dribbly striker as well. In terms of agility and balance, what's not like? It makes him very evasive on this game. 94 agility, 93 balance, fan. Fantastic. And uh, the pace of the card, 89 acceleration uh, and 86 sprint speed. Again, what's not to like with those? Again, uh, some great, great stats on this card. From the 92 attacking position, which is hindered because of these high, high work rates. So I'll speak about that right now. His movement, nothing to complain about that whatsoever. But his positioning, sometimes he drifts off into calm. Uh, the right calm, the left calm, the calm is general. And it um, can hinder your team. But apart from that, his movement is tremendous once in those positions, so he will get into space and he will always be available for the pass. In terms of the cones, I've got to speak about the elephant in the room. Despite the whole chemistry style, he was um, he was weak in game. He was very weak. He was getting pushed off the ball. I think I remember commenting the Bates and, uh, um, that he was weak. That I found him really weak in game and I just couldn't get him into a game one game because he just kept getting like bossed by Van Dyke. I know everyone on this game gets bossed by Van Dyke, but um, yeah, Gabriel Jesus, it was like... I don't know, it was like, you know when um, someone puts your hand on your head and you're too small to reach him with a punch? It was like someone was doing that, man. Was, they were just swinging and he just had his hand on his head. Gabriel Jesus had no chance in hell. And of course, the freestyle weak foot, which is a con in itself, because that left foot of his just isn't very good in the slightest. Let's get into the overall rating then, lads, because it's Christmas. I'm not going to be generous, I'm going to be realistic, and uh, a realistic rating for this card is a generous one, because he's going to get the overall rating of an 8.8 .8 on this Christmas day, it's a Christmas miracle, I thought I'd hate this card, I really did, because of the free star week, but I actually really, really enjoyed it, he's got some fantastic goals as you've seen in the gameplay, and um, he brought a lot to the table, I didn't think he'd bring height to the table, well he doesn't bring height to the table, I didn't think he'd be, uh, bring like a lot of great finishes to the table, but honestly, his scoring abilities, it, it, it's fantastic. It really is on this game. So 8.8 .8 for a striker that can score goals, that can dribble, that can uh, pass in terms of the one twos, but the long pass and the free balls and whatnot can be effective by his passing stats. In terms of the value for coins, he's getting an 8.2 in that category. I do believe his UCL is like 70 to 80k. I do believe so anyway. This is 150 to 200k on the Xbox and the PlayStation, which is a fair price for the card. It's it's a boost from the UCL. It's not something that you normally see with footmas cards, but with this info, it's definitely a boost from the UCL. And you can notice that in game, especially with the finishing plus three in that category. In terms of the enjoyment rating, like I said, I bloody enjoyed this card, man. He's getting a 9.4 in that category. Really enjoyed the card because I like dribbly strikers on this game, whether they are a Dybala, whether they are a Griezmann, whether they are an Aguero. I do like strikers that can uh, have more of their locker than just head and shoot. I like them being able to dribble as well. And Gabriel Jesus, he, he brings a lot of enjoyment to the table. In terms of foot champs readiness, yes, get this guy in foot champs. If you've got the red version and you were lucky enough to get him, I got uh, Fabino and uh, Witzel, I do believe. But if you were lucky to get this card, use this card. In terms of the perfect links, you got two. Is Fernandinho and Danilo. Uh, you could have had Edison there, but when are you going to play Gabriel uh, Jesus centre back? And uh, anyways, if you did do that, you would get something like 7k. We'd probably get like 3k or something. But anyways, guys, in terms of strong links, of course, you've got the Man City kind of prospects, your Gueros, your Mahrez, your De Bruyne, etc, etc. But in the Premier League, you've also got Brazil.
Brazilian start to that strong league. Roberto Firmino, Fabinho, just amongst a couple of them. And in terms of the weak link, let's look abroad for the weak links. We have Neymar, we have Coutinho, Footmas Coutinho, and we have Alexander Pato's flashback too. In terms of similar players, which you can see on the right-hand side, we have Merton, Zaha, and Insigne, all striker versions of those cards, because... They are good strikers on this game, and this card is like amongst those kind of silky... They're, they're all very good dribbling strikers on this game. So is Gabriel Jesus. The key pro will be the dribbling, the key con will be the freestyle weak foot, and the best game style will be the one I used, and that was Hawk, of course. You probably get a better rating per position if you use like a Deadeye or Sniper, but um... I enjoyed Haw Hawk on the card, I really, really did. As you can see, he goes to like an 88 centre forward and striker. Bloody brilliant. In terms of the best, I will change this to what you guys want in terms of my ratings, but I need to find the time to go through all my ratings because, as you know, it's Christmas. It's Christmas Day, for God's sake. And, um, yeah... I'm just going to enjoy Christmas, man. I hope you guys are as well. In terms of the ratings of the card, it's 91 Aguero, 90 Kane, 90 Salah coming to 1, 2, 3. Aubameyang, Lukaku, Sturridge, Firmino, Hernandez, Lacazette, and Gabriel Jesus. So you've got options in the Premier League. Gabriel Jesus, I'd probably stick ahead of Hernandez. I'd stick ahead of Lacazette. I'd probably stick him ahead of uh, Daniel Sturridge as well. But um, Lukaku too. Uh, it's the, the strikers I would use on this game. But uh, probably Harry Kane. Harry Kane's not like suited to my type. But Harry Kane is a very good finisher on this game. So Gabriel Jesus is one of the best strikers in the Premier League. No doubt about that. And guys, Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a great day. And um, I hope you keep supporting the channel, man. Because honestly, support this year, this uh, this period of the year, outstanding, outstanding. So once again, thank you so much. Hope you have a great day, lads. Merry Christmas. And as always, I will catch you all next time.